Uh, good evening, a bit to Dr. Hadiza. Uh, so this is group seven. Uh, you are doing lab two, and we are going to explain about part B, question five, which asks us to uh, to write a, a code of sequence that will implement the following expression. As you can see, the data here is already been given in the question, which is which has uh, five variables uh, with a data type of uh, sign double uh, with its respective values and we are going to find the value for val a right continue so for line uh, 13 uh, the instruction asks uh, to move uh, zero to edx register so the value of edx now will be zero in hexadecimals so for the next line it asks to move val b into eax register so the value of eax register will be 12 in decim in decimal so the so the next line will be move e c x val c so it will move uh the value of val c into the e c x register so we will do the division for the next line uh for e c x and then we move to uh v uh we move to uh, var d into bx and then we multiply the var d and then we move back we move the e a x into the val a and then that's the end of the program all right so i'm going to debug and then right. and i'm going to step into so we can see how the process is going to start Okay, so as we can see, uh, there was a wash and display and screen. So if we uh, step into uh, from line 13, you can see val A 0, uh, val D 20, val B 12, and val C 4, val E is N. And EIS, EBX, ECX was the random, random value. So if we uh, step into, uh, they will move ECS to val C and we get the value EX which is uh, 12 and step into. Uh, we divide the ECS and we get the 4 value. Uh, then uh, we move the EBS, uh, we get the 20. Uh, then we step into uh, we move the val a uh, and we get the ax which is val a 60 and then we exit right so from this uh, i would like to summarize again that how the process really occurred uh, because we can see that the value uh, of register is being substituted by the value that has been given to the variable in the data in the data set so as you can see uh, when it comes to line 16 for example divide ecx which means that we are dividing the value of eax which is 12 we divide it with uh we divide it with 4 so we all will, so we will obtain the value of eax earlier before that which is 3 and then we three times with times with var d so which means that we are multiplying the value of 20 with a uh, value of eax so 3 times 20 is going to get 60 so that's how the process is actually happening so i think that's all from our group thank you for watching